In this video, we're going to look at how to read two different types of micrometers. Uh, one of them is going to be in terms of an inch. Uh, that's this first one right here. And then the second micrometer that we're going to read is going to be in millimeters. So we're looking at a U.S. measurement and a metric measurement. And um, this particular micrometer uh, is capable of measuring up to the nearest thousandth of an inch. Notice you have three decimal places. And I'm going to show you how to get this number from this micrometer right here. Um, a micrometer, you feel free to you know, YouTube or Google pictures or videos of, of a micrometer in action. But you have a sleeve and then you turn this thimble to measure um, with very high accuracy or precision. I mean, we can get to the nearest thousandths place here. But how do we get 0.346? Where that's coming from, the first thing you want to read on a micrometer are these numbers. These numbers represent tenth of an inch. So that would be like one tenth, two tenths, three tenths. And notice that three is the last digit that you can see on the sleeve. So we write down a three. And what we have to do, this is measured in tenths of an inch. And notice that's exactly what's written right there. Even though it says it's 100 thousandths, 100 thousandths is the exact same thing as uh, one tenth. And so we can just use that decimal. So we take the last number we see, we multiply it by 0.1. That's a tenth. And if you multiply that, you end up with 0.3. So that's where one of our numbers comes from. Now, the next thing we want to look at is these pieces down here. We have our three, and now you're looking for spaces. Um, how many spaces do you see? You might say, well, hey, I see one space, two space. However, we don't want to count this space right here. And the reason why you don't want to count that space is because you cannot see another black line after it. That black line like this one here is hidden behind this symbol. So the only thing we can really see is one full space. So we got one full space. Now what do we multiply that by? Recall that I said this up here measures in tenths and each tenth is broken up into one, two, three, four spots. So we're breaking each tenth up into four spots. That's the same thing as a fortieth of an inch. And if you take 1 divided by 40, that's the same thing as 0.025. Again, think about that. If you're measuring up here in tenths, and if you break tenths up into force, really what you're going to have is 40 blanks down here if we kept on rolling this thimble out. So therefore, we multiply the number of spaces that we see, full spaces that is. We have one space, so we multiply it by 0.025. And 1 times 0.025 is 0.025. Now, it may help. Um, you can do this if you'd like. I'm going to add two extra zeros up there just to you know, get it to the nearest thousands. And now we have one more thing to read on this micrometer, and that is going to be the thimble. Um, look for the line that lines up with this black line here. And now what we have on this thimble is we have 25 divisions. Notice you have 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and you see a zero up there because that kind of resets, I guess you could say. And as you rotate this thimble, um, it's going to move this thimble either further in on the sleeve or further out on the sleeve. So we have 25 divisions, and this is measuring in terms of a thousandth of an inch. Notice one rotation has 25 divisions of one thousandth. Now, what number do we see? This black line here lines up with this long black line. That's a 21. So we take 21 times, and this is measuring to the thousandth. So we take 0 0.001. And if you take 21 times a thousandth, or 0 0.001, you end up with 0 0.021. Now we can finally see where this answer comes from. If you add up all these, all these decimals, 0, 5, and 1 is 6, 0, 2, and 2 is 4, 3, 0, 0, that's going to be 3, and bring down your decimal. As you can see now, that's where the 0.346 comes from. Now there are micrometers out there that read even more accurate than that. Um, they're called veneer micrometers. Uh, but for right now, we're just going to focus on the micrometer that can do to the nearest thousandth. There are micrometers that can go even further, like one more decimal place, to the nearest ten thousandth. But we're not going to worry about those for right now. Let's look at this example over here. Same idea, except it's just a black and white picture. And uh, let's work this one out together. So what's the uh, last digit you see up here? Zero, one, two. We see a two. 
And remember, those top numbers up there measure to the nearest tenth of an inch, so we multiply by 0.1. Just like down here, we saw a 3 and we multiply by 0.1. That's what we're always going to multiply by for the first measurement on these micrometers here. So 2 times 0.1 is 0.2, and I'm going to add two zeros. That comes from that 2 right there. Then recall, down here we saw one full space. We didn't count this space right after it because we didn't see a black line um, in, or showing up from that thimble. So let's count the number of spaces we see here. There's one space, two spaces, there is a third space, but notice you see a little bit of white between that black line and the thimble's little piece. We don't count that as a space because you don't see a black line behind it. Plus, if you did end up seeing another black line, you'd actually end up seeing a three because one, two, three, if we saw the whole fourth spot, we'd be seeing a three up here too. So how many full spaces do we see? One, two, three. So we got three spots. And remember, that broke it up into 40ths of an inch or 0.025. So we multiply by 0.025. And three times 0.025, we get 0.075. And then last but not least, let's read the thimble. There's 10, there's 11, there's 12, and then notice 13, 14, you have a 15 up there. But this 12 right here, that is what lines up with the black line on the sleeve. So we take 12, and now remember the numbers on the thimble, we multiply those by 0.01 because they're measuring the thousandths. So 12 times 0.0, or 0 0.001, I think I said 0.01, but we multiply by 0 0.001, and when we do that, we end up with 0 0.012, or we can say 12 thousandths. And now let's add all these things together. So 0, 5, and 2, that gives you 7. 0, 7, and 1, that gives you 8. 2, 0, 0, that gives you 2. So therefore, we can say 287 thousandths of an inch is going to be that measurement on the micrometer up there. From these two examples, the things you want to remember uh, for these micrometers, the first number that you see multiplied by 0.01, the number of empty spaces that you see, granted you have a black line showing up behind it, the number of full spaces, you multiply it by 0.025, and then the number that's on the thimble, we multiply that by 0.001, and that's how we get these measurements here. Now that's in terms of inches. Let's look at a micrometer that measures in millimeters. So this micrometer right here, this measurement is 5.87 millimeters. How are we getting that number? The number that you see up here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we don't see a 6. So 5 is the last number that we see. That is going to be the number that shows up uh, to the left of your decimal. This represents whole millimeters, whole millimeters. So we have 5. And now the next number that we're going to add in here, this number right here is going to come as to whether we see a line down here or not. Notice after the 5, we see another mark. That represents half a millimeter. Half a millimeter, you write that as 0.5. Now there can only be one or two numbers in this spot. We're either going to have a 0.5 or we're going to have a 0. And that all depends on whether you see this black half millimeter line after that five or whatever number you do see up there. So we have five and a half, five plus 0.5, and then you wanna read this number on the thimble. So notice uh, now here for millimeters, it's not gonna be 25 divisions, it's gonna be 50 divisions. And notice the line that lines up right here, we got 35, 36, 37. And that's measured in hundredths of a millimeter. All these little marks here represents hundredths of a millimeter. So therefore, we have, we said 35, 36, 37. So how about we take 37, and you can multiply it by a hundredth, which is 0 0.01. Now, the more you do these, the more you'll probably realize that whatever this number is, in this case 37, we just put a decimal and write 37 because if you take 37 times 0 0.01 you get 0.37 and you want to add these three numbers up 5 plus 0.5 plus 0.37 and what you'll end up with is 5.87 millimeters and there's your answer notice it matches that right there so let's apply that same step to this one down here whole millimeters 
five, there's 10. Notice we see 11 as well. So you count these in here, even though they don't have numbers, that would be one, two, three, four, five millimeters, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 millimeters, 11. So we got an 11 for our first spot. Plus, remember this blank here. This blank is either going to be a 0.5 or a zero every time one or the other, and it depends on whether you see the half mark or you don't see the half mark. Notice up here after the five, we see a half mark. After this 11, we don't see a half mark, so we're going to add a zero here. If you see the half mark after the 11 or whatever millimeter you're at, you add the 0.5. If you don't see the half mark after it, you add a zero. And then last of all, we want to look back on the thimble and what numbers line it up. Here's 15, 16. So we got 16, and remember you can multiply that by a hundredth, so that's 0.01, or you can just go ahead and say 16 with a decimal in front of it. That represents 16 hundredths of a millimeter. So if you add all this stuff together, what you actually end up with is 11 plus zero is still 11. So 11 plus 0.16 is 11.16 millimeters. Now notice you are reading these uh, two micrometers in two different ways. And the reason why is because one of them is in terms of an inch. Remember that thimble has 25 divisions, whereas this um, micrometer here with millimeters has 50 divisions on it. But I, we always use these numbers here, um, two examples of each, and that is it for this video. Hope it helped.